Hey everybody, it's Mike uh, from the forum here. Um, we are going to go ahead and get this thing running. Uh, Lightbox 2 antenna installation tutorial video by WebSmith Productions, or yours truly. Um, sorry for the delay and everything. I had a few little bugs uh, uh, work out, but we got that squared away and we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to cover uh, basically five points to basically getting this thing uh, up on your site and running. And those five points are, one, we're going to download, obviously, the current version of the zip file. Since there have been changes made to it, that's really important that you get the most current version so the instructions and all the code are correct. Um, second thing is going to be uh, we need to read the instructions thoroughly, um, read them a couple times, make sure everything kind of makes sense to you, uh, and proceed from that part. Number three, we're going to import the elements of Lightbox uh, into Antenna. Uh, the fourth one is we're going to FTP uh, some of those files uh, to your site manually. And the fifth thing is we're going to test it and see what we got. So let's get started. Real quick, for those who uh, don't know where to download this uh, zip file, we'll place a link on the um, forum as well, but I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Here's Graham, his personal uh, information here on the uh, forum. I'm going to go ahead and click his home page. That will bring us here. We want to go up to forums right here. Click on that. Once that loads, then we can go down here. It says JavaScript's how to. We're going to click that. And here it is here. Add Lightbox to your website. Click that. And then right here, this is where you click. That will download the file. Now you see your security settings may tell you that you need to check this out. So go ahead and Click download the file. It's going to ask you if you save it or open it. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. I've got a folder on the desktop called Tut for the tutorial here. I'm going to go ahead and add it to that. And I'm going to click save. That'll download real quick. And in my tutorial folder on the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and extract those files that we need. Click extract. There you go, there's all your files. The most important one is right there. The instructions, you need to open up that instructions. Please read through this thoroughly um, as there is some updated information in there. Again, I can't stress how important it is just to make sure you read through the instructions slowly and thoroughly so that you understand uh, the installation instructions within. All right, next thing. Um, one, we're going under the assumption that you have a general working knowledge of antenna and how to navigate in and around antenna, how to import files, how to get all that stuff in there. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free. I will uh, be basically running through those steps. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do all of them just for the just for the fact that if we do this uh, video is going to be extremely long. So here we are. Um, I'm in the root of my uh, website, and uh, you have to create a folder structure for the instructions. Number one is Lightbox. Now important fact is that none of these folders uh, can have caps in the uh, folder names. So you've got all your uh, information here. Um, CSS, we're going to go ahead and import that first. So we're going to click Media Import. We're going to go ahead and go to my tutorial folder that I have on the desktop. There we are. Go into Lightbox. Go into CSS. Now, Antenna normally only recognizes um, recognize web media. So what we need to do is go down here and select all files. Then your CSS uh, file will show up. You go ahead and click it. Click open. That'll import it. There it is in your folder there. 
So we can go back up and we can uh, do this for images. Now I've already got the images in here uh, just to kind of save us some time. Uh, the JavaScripts as well, I've got all the JavaScripts imported as well. Um, my large images, I've gone ahead and imported um, my images that I'm going to use for this tutorial. You would go ahead and import your images, uh, the large ones, once uh, you activate the light box. Those are the large images that you're going to see uh, in your thumbnails here, obviously. If you're using thumbnail as a link for the trigger for Lightbox, then you would import those into that thumbs uh, folder. Um.